This is some of the crew from the Tech Lab. So we kind of wanted to add a little bit more of a robust element to the training here. This is for a select group who have an aptitude and ability for designing 3D software. We had a problem, we needed a steering wheel. So they started designing their own steering wheels. Everyone came up with their own wheel and then they 3D printed grips. They 3D printed and made custom holders. Yeah, this one's cool. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling that one, dude. And this whole department kind of started with, we just needed some brackets cut for some of the cars. So we got one of our guys to come through. We got a CNC plast table, started cutting parts, and then young people started getting involved, learning how to design, and then it just kind of evolved into what is now our tech lab. Running some of the CNC machines, which this is the future. What are you cutting right now? Oh, making a chess piece? Yeah. A pawn? Nice. Did you design that one or? Yes, right now he's doing a, a rough pass. Um, then I leave three steps for yeah. a finish pass. For a finish pass? Yeah. I think we gotta like design a phone holder. So, <laughs> dude, out of everything, super nice designing these really cool parts and then it's like tape holding your phone to get footage. Like, <laughs> sorry, that's like the funniest part of the whole thing, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a GoPro like duct tape to a Ferrari right now. Like, <laughs> what's up, bro? You got it? Oh, how you get the color in that one? Here, talk to how you're doing this. So look at this is with we have a laser engraver. So it's kind of like in, a, in sequence from mm -hmm. fast down here to slow up here. So this is burning. All this image is burning into this piece of stainless with a laser. Correct. Correct. Oh, it's awesome, dude. That's really cool. And what are you building right there? A uh, UFO? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to make a stand for it to like levitate, uh, but I keep coming up with different ideas, so I'm just going to follow through with the one that uh, I just have. I'm going to make a uh, kind of like a pole that goes through. I'm going to have a set of magnets at the bottom that are yeah. the same pole, so you could just drop it in and it'll just keep bouncing up like this. That's cool. So, it's better than the first idea I went with, so. That's, that's cool. Here. That's just part of it, man. Trial and error. That's how we get there. No, that's awesome, guys. And you can see everything kind of has an automotive, automotive backbone to it. Cause that's like, that's kind of the part that kind of gets everybody going. You know, it's kind of, everything has a purpose. So go fast, go safe. This was something else. Uh, can I steal this one right here? Yeah. He's coming up with uh, a steering wheel hanger and a helmet hanger for inside attached to your roll bar. So this is one of the prototypes. We had a, everybody's coming up with different prototypes on these ones. Yeah. You kind of made your own little aftermarket peep mirror? Yeah. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's awesome. All right, cool, man. Did you end up making, are you going to do that couple different versions with the big puck, little puck, and drop it down, or? Yeah, I work out on it right now. Nice. Right. Yeah. yeah. I got the boot though. Oh, nice. I do on the, on the little one. It'll do, it'll, it'll print like the rubber like this? Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. Fits right over perfectly. Dude, good job, bro. And that's Lulu. <laughs> All right, guys, see you, man.